Okay. Conduct of business, item 10. Item 10A has been pulled. Item 10B is a receiver quarterly financial report as of March 31st, 2012 for the 2011-12 general funds, special revenue funds, enterprise funds, and internal service funds. Good evening, Honorable Mayor, members of the City Council. I am here tonight to present to you the third quarter financial update report. I'm going to just quickly summarize uh, third quarter results uh, for the various re revenues in the general fund. So starting with property tax, we are currently at the, uh, as of the end of March, at 62% of our budget of 5.5 million. And keep in mind that the uh, Property tax revenues are received in increments twice a year, and those are typically received in December and April are major installments. So the amount of 3.4 million year to date does not reflect the installment that we received in April. Comparatively over last year, the amount of 3.2, we're about $200,000 higher than last year. This is primarily the result of a one-time supplemental uh, payment that we received. It's not a recurring payment. It is just a one-time payment received this year. For sales tax, the budgeted amount of 6.6 .6 million represents an increase the amended budget. Uh, if you'll recall, during the second quarter financial update and budget adjustments, one of the proposed adjustments was an increase in sales tax of $500,000 due to the increase that we're seeing um, in the uh, sales tax arena. So year to date, we are at 59% of budget, 3.9 million versus 3.8 last year. VLF uh, vehicle license fees, we are received those fees twice a year, so this represents the 49% half of what we anticipate to receive with the other half received in April. Charges for services of 2.2 million uh, on track, this encompasses a number of things and it is uh, on track with where we, with the budget and is basically um, aligned to where we were at this point last year. Use of money and property, a budget of 1.7 million. Year to date, we are at 1.2 million. This uh, category includes investment earnings, which as is the case everywhere, are lower than they have been. It also includes a uh, decrease that we will see as a result of the elimination of redevelopment and the loss of an interest payment that we will receive on those advances going forward. So this category will see a reduction, a slight reduction this year as a result of that. Final category, hotel, motel occupancy tax. Uh, again, the budget amount of 1.97 million represents the increased budget that was brought forward at the second quarter budget amendment. Uh, there's an increase of $400,000, and we are at 69% of budget this year, uh, and we are basically $200,000 year-to-date above this point last year. On the general fund expenditure side, uh, we are basically at the three-quarter mark of the year. We were all trending either within budget or slightly over in one case. The one adjustment that I'd like to bring to your attention in this category is an increase in expenditure, the budget for planning and building as a result of uh, moving some of the expenses that were formerly paid for by the redevelopment agency over to the general fund and to the community development department. So that budget amount uh, represents an increase over the uh, originally adopted budget. So total expenditures in the general fund year today are 72% of the budgeted amount of 32.7 million. In the enterprise funds, uh, and pre just so you know, I mean, previously this presentation included redevelopment, and that's given that redevelopment was eliminated on February 1st. Uh, there is not included in tonight's presentation. For the cable, on the cable side, revenues are at 69% of budget. They are slightly below uh, where they were at this point last year, so 7.6 million versus 7.9 million. And we are continuing, continuing to monitor that. Expenditures are at 6.8 million, basically online and on track with where they were at this point last year, 69% of budget. So while revenues on the cable side are below what they would be anticipated to be at this point in the year, expenditures are also lower um, at the same amount. 
On the wastewater side, revenues of a budget of 11.2 million, we are at 77% year to date, 8.6 million, which is on track to meet budget, slightly exceed possibly. On the expenditure side, 7.3 with a um, year to date of 4.6 million, below the budget amount um, that you'd anticipate seeing at this point in year, 64%. Within the water fund, uh, similar to the wastewater fund, we are on track on the revenue side with a revenue budget of 10.7 million. Uh, we are at 75% of budget year to date. And on the expenditure side, uh, we are basically on track on budget uh, at 76%. So just one slight percentage point over where we would anticipate being. And finally, on the stormwater side, a uh, revenue budget of 620,000 year to date, $400,000, 65% of budget. Similar to the property tax, because stormwater fees are collected on the property tax bill, we receive those installments twice a year, once in December and then in April. So an additional uh, receipt was received in April and not reflected in these numbers. And on the expenditure side, we are trending well below budget on the stormwater side at 61%. So that concludes the brief overview. I'm happy to answer any questions. Any questions of uh, our finance director? Okay. Thank you very much.